My presentation deals with fatigue in old steel bridges. In this video, we see a view of the Kisi Bridge from a drone. The bridge was built in 1915 and is part of the Spanish cultural heritage. This bridge is composed of Pratt trusses connected by riveted joints. We perform a static and dynamic uh, loading tests in order to determine dynamic amplification factors and also identify the bridge behavior. On the left, uh, we see how the bridge is being lifted uh, by a crane from the depot. And on the right, we see uh, the same bridge, the same span bridge at the UPP. In this uh, time lapse, uh, we see the positioning of the bridge at the ICTEC lab. The bridge weighted uh, 22 tons, so we needed two cranes uh, to position the bridge, one inside and the other outside the lab. Uh, the bridge uh, span occupied almost the entire laboratory for six months, so you can imagine how happy our colleagues at the ICTEC were with us. The crossbeam uh, is the most critical element of the bridge in terms of fatigue behavior, because train loads are directly supported by these beams. As expected, the cracks initiated and propagated at the center of the beam after being subjected to 31,000 cycles. After testing uh, the cross beam, we wanted to analyze the overall behavior of the bridge span after being subjected to cycle loading. The bridge was subjected to 45,000 cycles without failure or cracking. In the second part of this project, we wanted to assess the robustness of the bridge. We used the same uh, test setup as in the fatigue assessment, and the bridge span was subjected to the progressive removal of two diagonals. Well, this video shows the behavior of the damaged area. Two diagonals were cut. There were no failure propagation, so this bridge had an excellent capacity for activating alternative load paths after failing some of its elements. Here, I'd like to show you how we are now using these results in real practice. We are now using the new knowledge in three uh, steel truss bridges. We've been able to define spatial protocols. We are also monitoring the bridges in real time. Actually, we are now using more than 400 sensors uh, in total for, th for the three bridges. And we perform loading tests. The project was led by the spin-off company Calsens in collaboration with the Building Receiving Research Group, which is part of the ICTEC at the UPV. And the funding was provided by the Valencian Railway Agency and the construction companies FCC, CHM, and Convensa.